Hey friends, thanks for joining me here today. I'm doing a video on basic playing cards probability. And first I want to thank my YouTube audience for making some of my card videos so successful, especially with cribbage and spades. I'll post links to those videos below. Um, something really cool I want you guys to try just at home, and please post your comments below about this, is, you know, there's there's... Four suits of 13 cards each. That's a really important number in a 52-card deck. Dealing out four cards each. I mean, theoretically, wouldn't you think that every single card of these hands would be a different suit? Well, yeah. You, I mean, statistically, you'd think that's how it plays out. But in the short term, at least, that is not the case. And what I'd like you guys to do at home is to try this for fun and to see um, what the percentage is of cards that you get of each individual suit per hand. Like, if we're going to call this 100% of individual suits, say for this hand right here, we've got 75% because we've got um, three suits there. And this one we've got three as well. So 75 and 75 is 1.5. Um, here we've got same thing, 0.75. And this is only 0.5 because we've only got 50% of the suits here. So if we tally these up, 0 0.75, 0 0.75, uh, 0.75, and 0.5 representing all four suits, and divide that by four to get statistical mean, um, we get 0.68 or 68% um, of each individual suit per hand. And I'll be curious what you guys find at home because in my experiments here, I'm always finding above 50% for every hand. So that's a good gamble in, in that um, these hands are going to be representing individual suits. So let's talk about cribbage here. Each player is dealt six cards plus a start card equals 13 cards or 25% of the total deck. So that means that there's a 75% chance that a card is in the stack that is undealt. Only 25% folks of the cards are dealt in a hand of cribbage. Subtracting our cards that we can see here in our hand and the start card um, equals 6 over 52, or that means that our opponent has 11% of the unseen cards. So pretty tough odds in speculating in cribbage whether your opponent has a card compared to other games. Now, the German-Austrian Schnapsen, which is based on 66, which uses also 9s, but Schnapsen does not. Um, we've got a trump card here in the Talon, and we've got a shortened deck. So we've got 20 cards, 5 for each player, plus the trump, means that 55% of the cards have been dealt or are seen. Now, subtracting what we can see uh, combined with the trump means that our opponent has 35% of the unseen cards. Very good possibility, or a much better possibility, that our opponent has any given card over our previous game, Cribbage, which we just talked about. Just give me a second to indulge. Absolutely beautiful cards. Based on William Tell, um, the legend of Swiss independence. There's William Tell. Another trick-taking trump game, except played with partners, is spades. Great game, kind of like bridge light. Given that spades account for 13 cards divided by 4 means that there should be 3.25 spades for every single hand. So here's a shuffled hand. Let's see how many spades actually play out in this hand. So here we've got three. That matches it. Here we've got 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Not quite. Um, here we've got two spades in this hand. And wow, this hand here got skunked. There's no spades in that hand. Again, that shows you like in the beginning of this video where I said try this at home with the four cards and the four suits. There's going to be that deviation from the statistical average as far as probability in these card games. Generally speaking, you're going to be over 50%. For example, this hand here does meet the requirement for three, um, as does this. And these two did not. So we've got 50% here. So not including yourself in spades, there's a 33% chance or one third of a chance that your partner has three spades or 3.25 spades. Those are pretty good odds. One thing I've learned from my spades video, and please check those out, I'm posting links in the description below from real, real spade sharks who have weighed in on the comments section there. Always bid your ace king of any suit in spades and always uh, include the queen of spades in your bid. I've had a tendency in the past, as probably many beginners have in spades, of overbidding and not meeting the contract. So... If you're starting out um, like I am, you know, maybe go a little bit more conservatively. Always bid ace king, and if you got the queen of spades, bid it. Maybe if you want to go out in a limb and you've got a run of, or if you're high in another uh, suit with higher cards, maybe throw that in. Like, say you've got like a uh, jack 10, 9 of um, hearts or something like that, you might get. A, uh, you might win a trick out of that. Please post your comments below as far as learning about any other uh, basic playing cards probability. I look forward to reading from you card sharks out there as always because I learn more from these videos than I've actually shown here. And that's part of the uh, joy of YouTube. Thanks for watching you guys and have fun playing cards.